Hey guys, Jay here and welcome back to the channel. So I have got a Ripple XRP update to go over here. We've got a few different articles to look at and we're going to be taking a look at some other stuff as well that's going on in the United States. So we're currently sitting at extreme fear on the fear and greed index sitting at a 17. This was expected. What wasn't expected was that massive dump that we went through. And this is definitely not just down to job reports. There's so much stuff going on on a global scale right now that things are just uncertain and we're not seeing as much interest in crypto right now as there normally is. And this is gonna be a cross board in loads of different things. If you go onto Google Trends and you start to look at all of these different ins and outs, you'll start to see what I'm going on about here. So let's move over to this article that is talking about these US Treasury buybacks. So the US is going to be starting with an $8.5 billion buyback in August, and then it will be followed by a $31.5 billion Treasury buyback in September. And thereafter, they will initiate a $10 billion buyback in October. So this move aims to manage the supply of government bonds in the market and support liquidity. So with everything that's going on in the US at the moment and everything's being so focused on the US when it comes to the financial sector, crypto and everything that's going on, this could be a pretty good positive to provide some respite from this current storm we're going through. So we can see that these are going to be happening over the course of the most important months historically around the bull run. If we look back previously, it kicks off around October, November time. From that point onwards, it has moved up crazy amounts in the past. So let's move over to these Ripple articles. And we've got a lot of talk that's going on around the launching of their stablecoin being RLUSD. So when you introduce a highly reliable business grade stable coin into the decentralized ecosystem of crypto, you end up with a successful platform like Terra Luna at the time before the crash. Yes, it crashed. Yes, it got decimated. But nonetheless, you could see that the demand was there for a decentralized stable coin that is highly reliable. And that's why so many people got wrecked by that crash. That's why it's determined as one of the worst crashes in crypto. So this really does start to give us a good perspective that Ripple themselves are walking down the right road because they're going to become a very attractive asset across board, not just in the decentralized ecosystem, but in so many other places as well. For, for example, like cross-border payments, which is what everybody primarily focuses on when it comes down to what XRP Ripple is intending to do. But they kind of miss just how big the decentralized ecosystem inside crypto is and how big the demand is for a reliable stable coin asset. And I can't say that enough at this point. So there is a lot of talk about them updating their website and adding a very specific section dedicated to the RLUSD stable coin being brought forward. And there's all of these different articles which <clears throat> talk about this rivalry between Tether USD and RLUSD uh, in the future. And I just don't think they're going to be on the same playing field for the simple fact that Ripple itself is a decentralized ecosystem with a centralized body. This gives them a lot more open doors. So let's take a quick look at this new tab that they've added to the ripple.com website. And like I said, it is literally just a tab. We've got payments, custody and stablecoin now. So you can get all relevant information on here. There is a small little part in the white paper. We won't be going over it here. So what we are seeing is a pretty drastic shift towards the XRP narrative and we're actually starting to see on the Kaiko analytics that there's a pretty decent demand for XRP and that it's beginning to bounce back after this long and drawn out lawsuit. So once again this all starts to point at us in the right direction and considering the amount of outflows that we saw yesterday we shouldn't see whales accumulating really 
anything that is deemed to be dead, useless, worthless, or is not going to be something that's feasible for them. Instead, we're seeing whales accumulate millions of XRP tokens on Binance once again. And this has been happening in a few different places. And it just goes to show there are always people there waiting for these opportunities. And I myself been adding to my XRP bag and sending it over to my ledger during this dip because we don't sell our bag here. We merely bolster it up. So what I want to do is move over to this ETP news because this is really something that stands out to me, especially with what else we've gone through here is the fact that there was a pretty decent inflow into the XRP ETPs whilst there was a pretty huge outflow across board throughout the whole market. So once again, this really does set XRP aside and makes it shine a little bit more. And something I think about a lot recently is this whole idea of quick gains and smart gains. If you're looking for quick gains, XRP is definitely not for you. I would 100% say you would want to avoid this asset at all costs if you're looking for quick gains, because this, in my opinion, is the Tesla of today. This is like getting involved in Tesla stocks whilst Elon Musk was sat behind his computer in some basement somewhere, but XRP really is pushing forward. So what we're actually seeing as well is JP Morgan starting to accept XRP for credit card and mortgage payments. So in a significant development for the cryptocurrency world, JP Morgan Chase has announced that it will accept XRP for credit card and mortgage transactions. This move allows customers to use XRP for payments and earn cash back through XRP ledger system, CTF using CTF tokens. So customers making payments with XRP at participating merchants, both online and offline, can earn CTF tokens as rewards. These tokens can be used to purchase products or sold for fiat currency as cash back and due to the limited supply of CTF tokens and anticipated high demand, speculation, speculation suggests that the value of CTF tokens could soar from 0.72 to an impressive $498. So once again, this is a situation where you get cause and then you're going to have an effect and that effect could lead you to some decent gain. So it's always good to look into these articles and see what they're talking about. So JP Morgan Chase, the major financial institution behind the Chase Bank brand has been a proponent of blockchain technology. In June 2023, the bank introduced blockchain based to Euro payments, showcasing its commitment to integrating blockchain into mainstream financial services. <clears throat> so in conclusion, JP Morgan's chase decision to accept XRP payments marks a significant milestone in integrating cryptocurrency into, into traditional banking services. So in my opinion, XRP could end up being the spice, for example, of the whole crypto sphere. It really could, and it stands such a high chance because it's an underdog. It's really being overlooked by a lot of people that are being absorbed with this very short attention span, which is something that things like TikTok, Snapchat, and all of these other apps that provide very quick instant gratification where you can do doom scrolling infinitely and find something new every second. And people out looking for these meme coins, no one's really paying attention to the diamonds in the dirt. And XRP definitely is a diamond in the dirt. And I'm going to continue accumulating it. I'm going to continue reporting on it and we'll continue bringing the information to you guys. So if you like the content here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the notifications bell to stay informed. And aside that, stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.